they have resealable caps. So the moment we fill them and we pop the cap on, it cannot be reopened without breaking the seal. Mm -hmm. So when the consumer gets it, the guest gets it at home, they'll know, they'll know that that has not been tampered with. Bars and restaurants serving guests alcohol responsibly to go. It's been happening for a few years now. Selling booze to go came out of the pandemic to help businesses stay afloat. However, those regulations were only temporary. Yeah, but due to some new legislation signed by Governor Whitmer this week, those alcohol to go laws are here to stay permanently. So with us this morning to talk about the changes to our alcohol laws in the state, we have legislators sponsored the House version of this bill, 82nd House District Representative Christian Grant Representative. Good morning. Thank you so much Good for morning. being here. Good yeah. morning. All right, so I want to talk about this because this was, again, like we mentioned, already in place, but yes. now it's extended permanently. Why did we want to do that? Uh, there was a lot of conversation about removing the sunset on the cocktails to go bill uh, simply because restaurants and local businesses have really seen this be an effective tool that has helped them try to recover after the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And um, as we talk about how do we get back to some type of normal and really support our local business owners, keep them here, help them grow, this uh, was a tool that has been a big part of that. Yeah. Uh, you know, when the whole pandemic, when it was happening, and I first heard of alcohol to go, that was a total flip of the mm -hmm. paradigm because I would have thought of there would be drunks walking down the sidewalks, and that didn't seem to happen. Right. And, and so somebody had the foresight to really realize that this would be a success. Yes, well, during the pandemic, of course, all of us started ordering food, dinner, breakfast to mm -hmm. go. And along with that, restaurants, we know that a biggest portion, one of the biggest portions of their sales is alcohol, mm -hmm. cocktails, liquor. And so when that wasn't able to happen, they mm -hmm. were already going through a huge transformation um, and that was a hit. So when this bill was created, it was to help that. Mm -hmm. What we've seen is there has been a big return uh, to people going to restaurants, but restaurants are still trying to right size, yeah. having the staff and, and things like that. And they never saw a decrease in those orders to go. So uh, as they're short staffed and working on things like that, this is able to help keep them afloat and not take away something that has become a big revenue stream. Mm -hmm. And when someone thinks about alcohol to go, you know, you may think, oh, they have, you know, an open container in their car and yeah. that's how that works. But safety is insured with this. Absolutely. And it's almost compared to like if you go to a liquor store and get a can, mm -hmm. a box of something, you're not opening it in the car. There's, there's still safety being enforced here. Absolutely. So the, uh, the law says, it states that everything has to be closed and sealed and you can tell if it's been tampered with. Just like if I were to go to a store and purchase a bottle of wine, you can tell mm -hmm. if I've opened it. Um, so this is simply like I would go pick up tacos and then maybe stop at a store and get a bottle of margaritas. Mm -hmm. Now you can get that in the same place and support a local business. There's a business in Lansing that has a signature family mix mm -hmm. that they've been able to bottle and allow people to take and celebrate at home or at functions and events and it's really helped keep them afloat. Yeah because these big businesses you know big companies you go to a liquor store you're supporting them but here locally you're supporting these small local restaurants. Absolutely yeah. and uh, we know that it's a hard time for them but this is what adds to our community it gives us spaces to gather so I'm really excited to have another tool that helps keep them open. Yeah, Representative Grant thank you so much we appreciate your time. Thank you for having me.